Hello friends, Fireflies Blue Ghost spacecraft completed another lunar orbit maneuver for a 3 minute and 18 second burn earlier this morning. This maneuver moved the lander from high elliptical orbit to a much lower elliptical orbit around the moon. Shortly after the burn, Blue Ghost captured incredible footage of the moon's far side about 120 km above the surface. In this orbit, the team will experience planned rolling communication blackout as Blue Ghost goes around the far side of the moon. When on the near side, the team will continue to downlink data and finalize the plan for the next maneuver that will get Blue Ghosts even closer to the lunar surface and keep us right on track for landing on March 2nd, 2025. With a suit of NASA Science and Technology on board, Firefly Aerospace is targeting no earlier than 3.45 am EST on Sunday, March 2, 2025 to land the Blue Ghost lunar lander on the moon. Blue Ghost Mission 1 will deliver 10 science and technology instruments to the lunar surface as part of NASA's Commercial Lunar Payload Services Initiative. Upon launching on 15 January 2025, Blue Ghost is spending approximately 45 days traveling to moon allowing ample time to conduct health checks on each subsystem and begin payload science. Blue Ghost is set to land in Mare Crisum on 2nd March and operate payload for a complete lunar day that is about 14 Earth days. On March 14, Firefly expect to capture high definitional imagery of a total eclipse when the Earth blocks the sun above the moon's horizon. Standing 2 meter tall and 3.5 meter wide, Blue Ghost is designed for stability with shock absorbing feet, a low center of mass and wide footprints. Blue Ghost's core components including panels, struts, legs, harnesses, avionics, batteries and thrusters were built using many of the same flight proven technologies common to all Firefly launch and orbital vehicles enabling lower cost and improved reliability. The payloads on the Blue Ghost Mission 1 will help advance lunar research and conduct several first-of-its-kind demonstrations, including testing regolith sample collection, global navigation satellite system abilities, radiation-tolerant computing, and lunar dust mitigation. These investigations will help pave the way for humanity's return to Moon. The data captured will also benefit human on Earth by providing insight into how space weather and other cosmic forces impacted Earth, among other valuable research.